Number 14 then from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1. Five marks for carryout and integration. That should be straightforward. There's nothing to think about. You either know how to do it or you don't know how to do it. And you should know how to do it. Because it's a straightforward technique. Get it into a suitable form first of all. So you've got a denominator. You don't want that. You've also got this added complication that it's not just an X. X has been replaced by a bracket. So you've got a function of a function. You've got chain rule going on here. So when you say take it to the top, it's take the bracket to the top. So up goes that bracket. Just leave it inside it. You can't expand a bracket unless you've got a whole number power here. And that doesn't apply, so it's stuck in there. So it goes up to the top. That means it's a negative. I'll mention that in a minute. Now don't get these confused. One's the power, one's the root. Two's the power. And the number beside the root sign is the root. 2 goes on top, the root goes underneath. Where else would you find a root? So that's what you're going to integrate. Now, if you do that, you get one mark. Now, just to mention something in the marking scheme I noticed, it said, if you don't put it into this integrable form, if you don't bring that up and just integrate the denominator the way it is, you get 0 out of 5. Now, I don't get that because... Surely that's equivalent to just forgetting to write that negative there. That seems a bit savage. So the lesson there is just, you don't know who's making up the marking scheme, so just take extreme care that you get this part correct. Don't forget that negative. Now, integrate it. So if it was just an x, it would be add 1 to the power, divide by the power. I'll just keep it in a wee bracket just now. Add 1. So that means you're adding fractions. You'll have to add 3 thirds. 3 onto negative 2 is 1. Oh, that's a lot neater. Now divide by that. You can either do divide by a third, which is perfectly right, but I prefer to do multiply by the reciprocal because it stops those complicated fractions. Having fractions is part of fractions. So the reciprocal is three over one. Now, what was it? It wasn't just an X. It was a two X plus nine. If you were differentiating, you'd multiply by the derivative of that, which is two, since you're integrating, you're doing the opposite. You'll have to divide by the derivative. Divide by 2. Now, that's what you're going to evaluate from negative 4 to 9. Now, there were two parts to this. You get one mark for integrating by adding 1 to the power and dividing by that power. You get another mark for remembering there was an inner function. Divide by the derivative of the inner function. So that was for that 2. Well, after this now, it's just put the numbers in. Notice that 3 upon 2 is a factor of all calculations. You could leave it in, or I think I'll just take it completely out of it. So all I've got then is this, because I've got 3 upon 2 times this first bracket with a 9. I'll show this bit. So it's two nines and a 9 to the power of third. Take away, again it would three, be 3 upon 2, but I'm just going to take it out of it. But now it's 2 negative 4s, 2 times negative 4 plus 9 to the third. If you want, you can have 3 upon 2 times that, minus 3 upon 2 times that. You get one mark for substituting in the numbers, whether you take out that factor or just leave it as 3 upon 2 times that and 3 upon 2 times that. The last mark's just for the answer. So how much work are you going to put down? Well, that's 18, 27. The cube root of 27 is 3. That's negative 8 and 9 is 1. 1 to the power anything is 1, so it's minus 1. That's 2. 2 into 2 goes 1. 3 ones are 3. And that's your answer.